Hello, this is Ron here with a quick medical update before the show starts. Chris Sullivan has been found unconscious in the parking lot. Our medics are tending to him as we speak. We hope to update you with more later. But for now, the show must go on, so have fun with it. Thank you, Ron. I'm Martin Huck. I'm Ben Franklin. Welcome to the second part of Reed. You've been waiting a week for it. And we are starting off with a hellish match, Frank. Get it? Because it's hell in a cell. Yes, yes, I get it. But all jokes aside, two men are going to walk into this match. Only one man is going to walk out. Mm-hmm. Many superstars can tell you about the stars of hell in a cell. Mankind, John Cena, Randy Orton, CM Punk and many, many more. And you know the Joker is absolutely looking to inflict punishment. He's going to take much pleasure in making Rey Mysterio suffer like he has been ever since Mysterio arrived. He, he didn't believe Mysterio was worthy of the casting case. He didn't even believe Mysterio was worthy of a good career here because he heard him at Heatway. And Mysterio came back with a vengeance. And the Joker is looking to snuff out his return once and for all. Yeah, but if we know there's one thing throughout Rey Mysterio's career, and that is you cannot count out the biggest little man in wrestling. Mm-hmm. And here he comes. Yeah, and of course, getting that nickname from his ability, that despite his Whoa. small stature, being able Whoa. to slay giants. And look at this, Franklin. We have not seen this since WrestleMania 25. Yes, some mind games being played by Rey Mysterio here. Imitation is definitely not a form of flattery. But also, you gotta think, he needs a psychotic mindset to survive Hell in a Cell, to inflict punishment. Because this is one of the dirtiest, most gruesome matches in wrestling history. Yeah, of course, solid steel surrounding the ring, everything legal, weapons, brutality, the cage. You never know what can be used as a weapon. That's right. No disqualification. No Kalanai. You could say anything goes, Franklin. Yeah, a match that shortens careers. Just ask someone like a Shawn Michaels, even though that was a casket match. The pain this puts you through is immense. And the Joker's immediately, he's going for the toys. Yeah, but Rey Mysterio not letting that slide. <laughs> oh. And Joker absolutely splashing against the cell. He got a good view of that. Oh yeah, absolutely. And let the ball begin. They're already slugging it out. Yeah, exchanging blows here on the outside. And you got to be real careful too. As, as much as the opponent's fist hurts, they're right next to the cell wall. And that could be used to deal some nasty damage. And nasty damage is the last thing they want, just like what Ray took there. Yeah, of course, Ray Mysterio going head first into the cell. That could that could stun him. But Joker now, going into the cell. Ray Mysterio unleashing a more brutal side we haven't seen. Yeah, that's what he'll need though to take down the Joker. The Joker isn't a giant; he is psychotic. And the Joker might have just swerved Ray there. And now the chair being put into play. Yeah, we seen him toss in that chair earlier. Now it's being put to good use by the Joker. Four shots. Five shots. Six shots. Is he ever going to stop? I mean, look at that chair. It's disformed, disfigured. Much like the Joker's mental state. Oh my goodness. Dumping Ray. Yeah, we call that in wrestling a Southern Lights suplex, or we refer to that as a Jokerplex, ironically enough. A Jokerplex. And the Joker kicking Mysterio like he's a mule, like he's nothing. Now he's surrounding his opponent. He's taking so much pleasure in this. Are you having fun yet, Ray? I'm having fun. A lot of fun. Who is having fun inside Hell in a Cell, Joker? 
maybe the Joker himself is the only person capable of having fun inside this demonic structure. Maybe this is his real house. He loves demonic. He loves the chaos. He has no ounce of sanity left in his brain or his body or anything. And continuing to use the chair. Yeah, but with Joker, as we know, he may be chaotic, may be unpredictable, but that's only to other people. To him, it's controlled chaos. Controlled chaos? What does that even mean? He's unhinged. He has no limits. He could think of absolutely anything, but he's calm in that chaos. He relishes in that chaos. Relishing in the chaos just makes you chaotic. It's not controlled. Ray looking for something there. Power bomb! Joker trying to snuff out any fight Mysterio has, and he's hammering away. This is very much not Mysterio's wheelhouse. He needs to find some way to fight back like he always does. Yeah, Red Mysterio normally always on the short end of the stick when it comes to early offense once people are able to negate his speed. Joker. Oh, oh my goodness. Ricocheting off the cell. Yeah, that cell has got to hurt. And Joker is not letting up. Unrelenting. Come on, Ray. Find something. I, 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 I can't listen to Joker cut a 20-minute promo about how I beat Rey Mysterio. Please. Yeah, we gotta hope that, that Ray can fight back as he has so many times in his career. Look oh. at that. Ouch. Into the post he goes. And the Joker continuing, unrelenting with the strikes. Yeah, not tossing Ray back in the ring. You gotta imagine Ben or Waluigi, whoever wins the IWA Championship match later tonight. Better watch out because the Joker could shoot right back into contention with a win here. Yeah, that's exactly what the Joker wants. Boom! What a beautiful reversal from Rey Mysterio. Can he get a fall? No, Joker kicks out. Yeah, nearly got the near fall there with the Hurricane Rana. Joker, what the hell is he doing here? Oh, bending back the digits, the fingers. Planting Ray down again. And I imagine all the Mysterio fans are depressed at this beatdown. Yeah, they definitely want Ray to be able to get back in this fight. Right now, Joker has complete control. I do too. If the Joker keeps beating him down, I'm going to start getting uncomfortable in my chair. I don't know what the hell he's going to do. Ray Mysterio fighting back sends Joker into the post. Joker now fighting back though. What the hell? No! Oh, power bomb onto the cell. Yeah, power bomb onto the cell. And now Joker has control once again. What the hell does Mysterio have to do? Maybe he has to do that. Maybe he has to keep swinging and fighting for his life. No! <laughs> a power bomb in return, a receipt from Rey Mysterio. Sending Joker right into the cell, giving him a taste of his own medicine. And Joker, he's looking to goad Rey. He's looking to retreat, and Ray has been beaten so loopy, he can't even get out. Oh, Joker eating more cell. That's what he gets. Yeah, another return by Ray. Ray thinking better of diving, though. Luring the Joker back in the ring. The Joker able to get in quickly before he can even perform a dive, and Ray, Ray's teeing off. Ray's swinging away. Joker's teeing off. Yeah, and of course, it, 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 was, it was smart of Ray to lure him back in the ring. Because what do luchadors, what do they use? They use the ropes, they use the turnbuckles, they use their surroundings to perform innovative offense. And now it's the Joker rolling. And Ray, Ray's usually one of the most nicest people in wrestling. But you gotta bet, he's definitely taking a little bit of pleasure in this for the cover. One... A two, no, Joker kicks out, and Ray, you're going to have to do a lot more work, buddy. Yeah, the Joker, of course, we noted psychotic, unhinged, and yet smart, a tactician at the same time. And here, here we go, here we go. 
six, one, no. He gets caught. And finishing my sentence there, he also has an insane amount of resilience. Ray, though, fighting him off, kicking him off with the feet, the power in the legs. Joker, though. Looking for a, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Psycho Cutter. Psycho Cutter, is this going to be it? Are the, are the Mysterio fans going to be in shambles? No. Ray kicks out. And the Joker, his fun is definitely over. He keeps slapping the mat. He wants to put Ray out. But if Ray keeps kicking out, the Joker is going to have to resort back to utter violence. Yeah, and of course, we've got to see here Rey Mysterio also with a sense of unpredictability. You never know when he can strike or at what speed into what. Joker going into the cell and wait a minute. Oh my goodness. They broke through. They broke through Franklin. Mysterio driving Joker through the cell. Yeah, I spoke of the unpredictability of Rey Mysterio's offense at times. That right there was unpredictable. I wasn't expecting him to pull a power move to slam Joker through the cell. Why are you so hurt, Joker? Just put a smile on that face, buddy. Yeah, Rey Mysterio getting his lick back. Joker, though, with a counter. Gonna look to kind of retreat here. Yeah, I don't think Joker was expecting this viciousness or brutality from Rey Mysterio. Viciousness and brutality is not in Ray's reputation. It's more athleticism. Lucha Libre, the likability. So this is a new change of pace for him. Oh, no. Joker is climbing the cage, Franklin. Yeah, we mentioned the unpredictability. This is what I refer to as the controlled chaos. The ability to put life and limb on the line. Seemingly not thinking at all. But this is a part of the Joker's game plan. He doesn't care about life oh, or limb. Oh, Ray almost falling off the cell. These two need to get the hell down from there before one of them gets hurt. But they don't give a damn. Up with the powerbomb. Joker, though, with the counter. Oh. oh. Joker nearly falling off the cell. Oh, my goodness. My, no, no. Killing Joker on the top of the cell. And Rey Mysterio is left vulnerable. What the... Joker dancing around, prancing, celebrating like he's won. But he can't have won until he gets Rey Mysterio back in the that, ring. That's because he's relishing what he's about to do. Oh, There's no, no way. No, Rey. There's Ray. no way. Rey's in big trouble. Oh, my goodness. That could have been so bad for him. That could have been really bad for Rey Mysterio. Both men teetering towards the edge. Ray with a counter and oh dear God oh dear God Franklin move move oh God move. off the cell off the cell the Joker oh my God just like that not only does the Joker take a terrible terrible dive off there but Ray jumps off the cell like a daredevil with one of his own we've got to get some doctors out there this man the Joker could be dead. Perhaps, but how in the hell is he still moving? How? How? I have absolutely no idea. And Ray's prepping the toys. Because Hell in a Cell is, of course, not false count anywhere. Unfortunate for him because he would have had it right there. Yeah, now the Joker's slowly managing to make his way back. Because Rey Mysterio indeed pulling out some more toys. But the Joker, oh. right there. Rey Mysterio was ready, though. Joker's sluggish. Actually, like Ray clocked him. I'd be sluggish, too, if I got thrown off the cell. Yeah, we, we can't tell you enough about how high that cell is. That is 20 feet in the air. I dare anyone who thinks that they could say that they could do this to take a dive like that. They can't. They can't. 20 feet of man dropping down on you but the joker's looking to drop ray here right here Ooh, ray's not having that though drop kick both men sluggish ray mysterio with a counter a punch wheelbarrow ddt beautiful absolutely beautiful that ray can still do that after diving 20 feet yeah and the table i mean speaking of tables like our our table's destroyed out here and that that's solid wood you have to think about joker going 20 feet down off the cage 
into Wood, and then Rey Mysterio elbow dropping him from that height. Man, it's about to get even worse. No, the Joker reverse, and that could have been terrible for him. Look at that, a kick to the shin. And that will do it. Now the Joker has his hands on more toys. <laughs> Rey Mysterio eating some wood to the face there. Luckily, that mask can protect against splinters. Luckily, I could not imagine having a splinter in the face and the ref needs to get out of the way before he gets hurt. Yeah, the Joker's shown he's willing to do anything. Rey Mysterio now up top. That table to the face has definitely stunned him. How the hell are you getting up there? What the hell are you doing? Oh my goodness. Oh my God, a Finley roll through the table. How is he even able to roll? Mysterio kicks out. The heart, the guts, the resilience of Rey Mysterio. We gotta talk about how, how in the hell Joker could pull that off after, after that cell dive. Oh. Mysterio had a little dive onto the cell right there. And the Joker, maybe he's getting sick of the fun and games. Maybe he's looking to wrap it up. Yeah, I mean, his goal, his objective here was to win. In the beginning, playing games. Now, not so much. And Ray's taking a little bit of time to get back into the ring. Oh, he's climbing up top. Yep, on the top rope there. Misses right onto the table, actually. Yeah, could have been going for a Hurricane Rana or, or a seated senton. Oh, no. The Joker... Killing joke onto the table. Yeah, it's jo Joker's still gassed though. Joker was gassed. That slight moment, that hesitation, give Ray the opportunity to recover and kick out like he did right there. Ray just kicked out of Joker's ace in a hole. There's a reason he gets called the biggest little man. And the Joker, he's hammering away. He's done. Oh yeah, he's furious. Those clubbing blows to the back. Yeah, brutal forearms to the back of the neck there. 12 to 6. And he's absolutely on the ground and pound. Anytime Ray gets up, he's going to kick him right down. It'll take a third killing joke for Joker to even have a shot to win. Yeah, you got to wonder. The Joker, of course, having hit the killing joke twice, could attempt to look for something else because Ray could counter it. Oh, Joker, though, taking his time outside. Rey Mysterio with the dropkick, taking the Joker back down. Rey Mysterio now up to the top rope. This is where Rey is comfortable. This is where Rey does all his magic. Seated senton. <laughs> ducking the clothesline. Cross body. We've seen this before. We know what's coming next. Sunset flip and a kick to the head. Rey Mysterio's back in the fight the lucha legend one of the greatest of all time yeah joker back up Rey mysterio off the top another seated senton onto the table piece not beautiful and race taken to the skies again frog splash but the damage done to ray especially off of that cell dive taking a moment to recover here one two we can have it the Joker manages to find a way out. Now it's Ray's turn to be amazed at the fight of his opponent. Yeah, and of course we mentioned earlier the Joker having to take time to recover before the pin. Ray having to take even more time to recover. And it caused the Joker to be able to kick out. And now the Joker delivering some strikes. Ray Mysterio with a counter. Form to the face. Going for a kick. The Joker counters. Action fast and furious. I'm surprised these guys are even able to pick up the pace at this point. Though Ray with a counter. Joker's being absolutely thrown for a loop. He is fighting back. But again, he got thrown off the cell. Which would knock anyone for a loop. And what, what's the Joker doing? Finley roll onto the table. Yeah, he went through it. And he did it on top of it. Ray crawls to the corner the veteran smart. instincts veteran instincts of course yeah joker now irish whip again brutal shots but ray's looking for some brutal shots of his own what the up to the top rope mysterious about to take joker for a deadly ride wait a minute oh my goodness 
planting him head first into the mat. Cover here. This could be it. That top rope. DDT. It could be. Thought it was going to be over there. So did Ray. Yeah, the Joker's not interested in doing the job, especially to a WWE guy. He does not like that they are here. Spanish fly. Wait, Joker. Joker like a possum. One, two, he could still. No, but Ray's not going to fall for it. Yeah, like a possum playing dead. Kick to the head. Rey Mysterio looking to dial it up. Can he get it this time? Here we go. Here we go, Franklin. Let's go. Let's go. 619. 619. 619. Finish it up. Frog Four. splash. Finish it up, Ray. Viva la raza. One, two, three. Sweet revenge for Rey Mysterio. Yeah, Rey Mysterio reaching to lengths and pulling off brutality I haven't seen from him ever. Mm hmm Ray getting revenge for the bloodlust incident, getting revenge for the heat wave incident, putting the Joker through his own hell. How good does it feel to be Rey Mysterio? It's got to feel so good right now. That 619, we all know that that frog splash, if he can hit it when it comes after, it's over. It's over. Congratulations to Rey Mysterio and the Joker's got to go back to the drawing board. We just got done watching an absolutely stunner of a Hell in a Cell. Rey Mysterio and the Joker had plenty of animosity, but we talk about animosity, Franco. We got to talk about the issue between the back alley brawlers and the KOTJ. Yeah, of course, both teams resorting to sometimes just fighting outside backstage mm -hmm. wherever they mm -hmm. see each other they're going to get their hands on each other but it seemed mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. in recent times the Montaigne's have been running away mm -hmm. they did isolate scope all the way back on forgiven they took out his partner this is because they harbor resentment for the brawlers for beating them to even get a shot all the way back at the japan show yeah of course the kotj were fine in the rivalry when they decided that they were going to do whatever they could to get a two-on-one advantage but now that it's two on two they've been running scared and we're waiting for the kotj and uh, they're, they're, they're taking a little bit of time here yeah playing some mind games Oh, okay, well, they're the kings of the jungle, right? You know, and oh, scope ain't waiting. Yeah, it's, I've, I've just been hearing from, from backstage, from production, that the KOTJ aren't even in the building. But the brawlers are still going to try to find him anyway. Uh, well, yeah. and more updates as the story rolls on. <laughs> but it's time for more tag team action. But this time, it's for the top prize in the tag team division. Project Altitude has to defend the tag team championships from not just the symbiotes, but the order themselves. Ugh, and here come the, the symbiotes. Yeah, the tag team of the order. These two, have, well, specifically Carnage has been running around all night. He helped Negan retain the hardcore championship against Scorpion back on the pre-show. In the order, definitely doesn't have their short of success here. Wells beat Crash. And Bane almost won the Subscribers Championship. But Bruno and Kang had some quick thinking to take him down. Yeah, and of course, the order. The antagonists, if you will, of the IWA. The main villains. And you know what? They own it. They thrive at that, Franklin. Yeah, they want to hear the jeers. They want to hear the boos because it only motivates them more to take every championship from IWA. They just don't give a damn. The Order is a group of very, very disgruntled people. Wells was a world champion before his company shut down. The Symbios weren't having too much luck here. Bane, well... You can say what you want. Yeah, I mean, Bane's come out and he's dominated, falling short thanks to there being no rules and two-on-one tactics in the ladder match. Smart two-on-one tactics. 
But now we're about to get some two-on-two -two tactics. You have, of course, the light to contrast the darkness of the order here in the tag team division. Mm -hmm. Project Altitude were actually able to get one over the symbiotes all the way back at Unforgiven because the return of Aaron Peters, they thought they could isolate Eric Crawford by ambushing Chris Sullivan. And we know that Chris Sullivan is a, was unfortunately found unconscious in the parking lot. So it's going to have to be two on two. Eric and Aaron need to find a way to win again. Yeah, we'll see if we can pull it out. And of course, there's a differential of tactics here. The unorthodox crazed offense of Carnage, the power of Venom versus the speed and agility of Project Altitude. Mm -hmm. Altitude will do whatever it takes to win. They jumped into this war. They knew that the symbiotes were going to come for them. Yeah, and of course, while we get everyone settled, ready, the referee gives final instructions, checking everyone. As, of course, this match is for the IWA Tag Titles, I would like to explain the rules for anyone who doesn't know about a Tornado Tag Team match. There are no tags. Both men are legal. The only way to win is by pinfall or submission. You can get disqualified. There are no countouts. No countouts, and you best believe that is going to be abused. Yeah, and of course, Venom and Carnage definitely like to push the rules, but they can't get disqualified, so they better watch it. Mm -hmm. If I'm one of Project Altitude, do I go the symbiotes into getting disqualified? I mean, if you were to consider them really smart, I would like to go them, but I don't think Project Altitude want to win that way. Maybe not. You know what they say about pride. It comes before the fall. And we'll see if it's Project Altitude's fall or their continued rise as the tag team champions. Altitude has a very long run. They've beaten almost every tag team. There is the beat, the back alley brawlers, the glitch, KOTJ, Aaron folding Carnage in half with that drop kick. Eric and Venom having a little stare down. Yeah, and then Eric with that, with that front handspring kick. And now, offense in the corner. This is fast. This is furious. Aaron is not relenting on Carnage. Oh my gosh. He's swinging like a wild man. Yeah, we spoke about light. There's nothing light about these blows. All of them are heavy. Oh my goodness. The symbiote's already on the back foot. Yes, stereo offense here in Project Altitude could be looking to take flight. Gonna get some altitude here. Holy shit, Aaron. Aaron Peters with a beautiful Tornado DDT. Yeah, that Suicide Tornado DDT. And then, of course, Eric Crawford at the top with the crossbody. And now, this is Smart Tag Team Tactics. Tornado Tag Team, both men legal or not, this is what you do. Mm -hmm. Two on one. That is how you win in a tag team match. Mm -hmm. And Eric and Aaron, it shouldn't surprise you, Franklin, that they're doing so well. They actually started Project Altitude, and Chris came in later after Aaron's abrupt release. And, you know, Carnage has actually been digging at Aaron for that. He's just been digging, saying he abandoned Altitude, saying he's weak. Yeah, and the mind games playing by Carnage could be backfiring here. Sarah Crawford with an elbow. Because look at that. Look at, the, look at this high pace, high action, hard hitting offense. Mm -hmm. They put the altitude in Project Altitude. <laughs> yeah, and absolutely. I mean, they got their name for a reason. And they're showcasing it here at Greed. And their namesake could be the way that they retain the tag team titles. Eric chopping away at him. Boom! Beautiful. Drop kick right in the mouth. Leg drop. You know, Carnage is usually the one you see getting aggressive. Being so unrelenting, but altitude aren't letting up. And that's the perfect stroke. Wait a second. Venom's back. Oh, no. This could be a game changer. Venom, of course, the powerhouse of the symbiotes. And we've seen earlier from Bane. Power can be a huge advantage. Mm, Eric and Carnage are too busy slugging away. Oh, my goodness. Venom absolutely clubbing Aaron Peters. Yeah, a ghastly blow from Venom. And now Peter's on the outside and Venom looking to follow through. 
looking for a strike of his own. Aaron, Aaron's still fighting back. He's not about to take that. Oh my goodness, slapping the taste out of his mouth. And the complexion of Venom versus Aaron Peters has changed. Did you see that boot, Franklin? He made him roll. Yeah, I seen that. That is, it was brutal. But of course, inside the ring, the symbiotes don't have the advantage. Venom, though, on the outside with it, but Project Altitude on the inside of the ring, where the fall counts, by the way. And Eric Crawford holding himself up pretty well. We know Chris Sullivan has his impressive single performances. We know Aaron Peters helped get the win unforgiven. But Eric Crawford's the OG. He's been there through and through no matter what. Cartwheel and a forearm smash. Cena done the Venom earlier. This time done the, the skill. Carnage. The skill. The skill that served to Wait a damn those strikes. Wait a minute. Aaron, Aaron, get off. There's nothing Aaron, surgical about this. Aaron, oh my gosh. Onto the concrete. And we gotta wonder now if Venom can quickly get back down to the ring. The symbiotes will have a two on one advantage. He needs to because Eric right now is making Carnage's head roll. Oh my good. Yep, there he is. There he is, Franklin. You absolutely called that one. Yeah, Venom now. Back in the fray. Carnage getting up, recovering. Recovered enough to deliver that, that leg hook lariat. Eric Crawford is in a place nobody deserves to be. Carnage actually pulling out a beautiful moonsault. Wow, okay. Yeah, we mentioned unpredictable and unorthodox offense of Carnage. Venom now with a short arm clothesline. Carnage! Carnage. Look at that senton off the apron. Carnage is adaptable to his opponents. Make no mistake, he is a psycho. He might have no remorse whatsoever in what he does. He gets so personal for no fucking reason. But Carnage can adapt. If he can flip like Eric Crawford. Eric! Getting back up, a Venom smacks him right down. But as I was saying, he can adapt to the style of Eric Crawford. He can probably adapt to Venom style because before this, they've had their clashes in the past. Yeah, the adaptability on the side of Carnage, and that is important in a wrestler. And Carnage hammering away on Eric, going to make him pay for all the damage Eric did to him. Yeah, both men. You mentioned adaptability. Carnage changing his game to, to power and brawling for Venom, but Eric fighting back, but not for long. That's what the symbiotes do. They give you a little smidgen of hope and then they knock it right back down. Yeah, as soon as you think you finally have the advantage that you figured them out, they change their game up. Look at Carnage. Look at the amount of stomps. Calm down, dude. The, 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 this is the thing about the order. You got your hosses like Bane, but then you got people doing absolutely unnecessary damage like Carnage. Yeah, and, and then you've got guys who are willing to do absolutely anything to get domination, to get power, to get force like Wells. And Carnage absolutely beating on Eric on the outside into the barricade. Yeah, hard whiplash barricades, of course. He just, he just won't stop sending him in. Yeah, the barricades are, of course, you can see through our, our camera that behind the barricades, they're just reinforced with steel, and the pieces that they're made of are not very soft. He was beating Eric like a dog. And the order is absolutely relishing in this. Wells, Negan, and even Bane can look on a little proud. Yeah, and of course, and I was, um, I was looking over there, and it looks like our, our barricade actually moved off of that that carnage slamming eric into it by at least one to two feet that's how hard he slammed him that is how hard he slammed him into the barricade jesus how, how are we supposed to stop wells when we got someone like carnage doing that yeah we we've got carnage showcasing a power game an athletic game a brawling game and then we've got two hosses on his side as well and of course wells the master tactician we have got a fight on our hands against the order and not to mention negan has a shade of brutality as well yeah negan showing some old colors we've got another hoss as doom is an associate doom is an associate right now he's still recovering after thor knocked him silly oh my goodness ddt 
Is it gonna be over? Is the reign of Project Altitude done? Eric Crawford having to show some fight of his own. And he rolls out for a breather, but Carnage just can't let it slide. Absolutely merciless, man. Yeah, I mean, that's... I think that's what Project Altitude needs right now. I think they need to get merciless. I think they need to get brutal. I think they need to slug it out, get down, get dirty, and get gritty. And Venom going to stop Eric's fire once again here. Maybe gonna launch him over the top. No! No, Eric with a counter. Aaron Peters is back into this match miraculously. Now they've got time. Now they've got the opportunity. Project Altitude needs to put it away. Eric Crawford was hanging in the fight for a while. And Aaron Peters is going to get right back in it. Elbow drop. Double foot stomp. Kick. Shooting star press. <laughs> oh my goodness. These two are absolutely... This could be their opportunity. They need to put it away. Diving double axe handle to the back. And another flipping swanton. Aaron looking to cover Carnage. It's Carnage's turn to get the ambush here. Let's see how he likes Merciless offense. Moonsault. Double stomp again. I mean, you look at this advantage, this hard-hitting offense, this brawling, using their agility to deliver harsh strikes. Oof, kick to the back of the head, drop kick to the face. And Air, while Eric is so pissed at Carnage, she's swinging at the air. Yeah, he's swinging wildly, trying to get the Carnage as Carnage rolls out. That's because Carnage beat the dog water out of him. And Eric is about to do the same exact thing to him. Oh my goodness, well, it's his turn to go into the barricade. Yeah, the receipt from earlier, the barricade shot. Yeah, and of course, and it seems um, Venom has rolled out of view up to the north of the ring. To the north? I don't know how you, I don't know how you see the ring like a compass, like this is showcase mode or something. Well, we've seen the camera pan out. It's the only spot he could be. And Carnage. Stays in the fight for the order and Eric. Eric's starting to get a little pissed here. All Eric Crawford is used to doing is winning. Make no mistake, Aaron Peters hasn't been pinned either. But Eric has been there for the whole success of Project Altitude. From the beginning to the tag title reign. Yeah, and they're looking to get some more success. Is that drop kick to the back of the head. Carnage though now fighting back. But still that two on one advantage. Carton is... Carnage just slugging it out. He got no not so loopy. He can't kick right, but you've got to bet the altitude would hate to lose their beautiful long reign to a group like the Order and to demented monsters like the Symbiotes. Yeah, Aaron Peters thought Eric had it covered, but he did not. His Carnage had hit that Des Press into in some punches. Absolutely going to corner Aaron, but Eric. Coming right back in there. Crucifix head scissors. And Carnage is right back out. And Eric ain't letting him breathe. Yeah, Aaron taking some time. Recovering. Carnage back into the ring. And Eric taking control. Mm -hmm. Eric Crawford does thrive on control. And it seems like Aaron Peters is right back up. What's Eric looking for here? Carnage with the reversal. Wait, oh my goodness, the cutter, the cutter. Crawford is down, but Peters is right there. Roll through, almost a Hurricane Rana type maneuver. Wheelbarrow up and over with the DDT. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Venom's back now. Venom's back now. Choke <laughs> slam, connects. Hit him with the choke slam. This is this, bad. Th this could be the game changer that the order needed. This is bad. Wait, wait, that. What the hell? Ryan Wells. Ryan Wells is here. Oh my goodness. Wells caught him. No. GTS onto the knee brace. The referee with his back turned. And Carnage. He caught Eric. This is a two on one assault. Up on the top rope, though. What is he thinking? Come on, Crawford. Come on, Crawford. Fight back with don't, the Sunset Flip or something. Don't let it end like this. And Carnage is looking for something. Oh, no. 
Oh no, no. No. Not from the top rope. Oh my god. Crawford's down. Crawford is down. It's it's done, Franklin. It's over. The light has been snuffed out by the order once again. Oh my gosh. This blows. This blows Project out to dominate just for it to end like this. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, Aaron Peters could have made it back in the ring were it not for Wells and that GTS onto the knee brace. And Wells sticking his nose into one of his comrades matches and it seems like a running theme. Can someone please stop this? I absolutely agree with the crowd here. This is bullshit. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the IWA, and now we we still have to move on. Yep, we still got to move on. The show goes on. And doc, we got Doctor Strange here, ready to confront this stalker, this weird doppelganger that's been in his life recently. Yeah, and of course, this, this weird doppelganger, of course, starting out small and then slowly escalating. If you if you wanna look and you know figure out about it see exactly what this doppelganger has been doing to strange check out the wattpad brand mm -hmm. and strange on the lookout even in the crowd so let me take you back to the beginning alan forgiven during stranger subs title match against bruno the doppelganger appeared in the crowd just observing and strange was unnerved by that he even asked people like tails for help any tech to help with this because he knows that if you're the Sorcerer Supreme and you got a doppelganger running around, something is extremely wrong here. Yes, strange guardian mm -hmm. of our reality. Mm -hmm. And something in his reality has been thrown off. And he's looking to confront it, fight it, defeat it, talk to it, do whatever he has mm -hmm. to do to, to solve this problem. So, you won't know why I'm here. So why don't we just bring the perp... Open your third eye, boy. What the hell was that? Don't tell me these bitches no-showed. It has been a night of twists, turns, and whatever the hell we just saw. But yeah. it's time to end it with our main event. We've all been waiting for this one. Yeah, and of course we've seen the brutality in the Tornado Tag Team match. The disappointment. We've seen the, the Steel Cage match. A, a glimmer of hope. A light in this pay-per-view. Brutality, of course. Rules being thrown out the window in those matches. But in this match... It's, it's not going to be a war of weapons or a war of tag teams. It is going to be challenger versus champion. Mm -hmm. And here comes Waluigi. He finds himself in the same predicament Ben is in. He wants to get out of the shadow of his partner in crime. His day one only. Yeah, of course, out of the Wario bros. The Wario, the Wario in the name tells you everything you need to know about being in the shadow. And Wario's been like the star of the show. He has his own games. He has WarioWare. He has Wario Land. I used to remember playing the Wii version when we were growing up. Yeah, and I mean, look at look at this too. Wario isn't Smash Bros. Waluigi isn't. And despite all that, Ben was still able to retain against Wario. He had a masked fan stop Waluigi from interfering, but Waluigi's not looking to run into the same fate here. Yeah, of course, we at IWA do not condone such actions from our fans. Um, I did get a report, though, that they are banned from the building. No masked fans, 
none of that. Of course, people can slip in, but our security has been up, so there should be no one jumping the barricade. Yeah, Waluigi is hungry to prove himself. You could say both guys are. You never see Waluigi wear, do you, Franklin? Yeah, I don't. Well, well, most well, of the time we see Wario at the front of the show, Waluigi is looking to prove himself, and he could do it with a victory over our champion. Waluigi, the definition of greed. But as the smoke fills the stage, as I prevail, plays over the loudspeaker, it is the man here on Orland. Yep, Ben Connell, our IWA world champion with some greed inspired attire here I, I i'm not gonna lie i do i do dig the green and black color team yeah and of course fancy nice looking attire but of course he's got the fanciness coming out to the ring but when the bell hits it is all business all business and Ben, somebody who's been trying to break out of the Nate Express shadow recently. He was able to call a shot and beat the Joker, but it's a dig people keep taking at him. So when Waluigi went low, Ben went low as well, saying Waluigi was in Wario's shadow. These are like mirror versions of each other, Franklin. Yeah, but of course, opposing styles as well. Waluigi willing to play dirty. Our champion likes to fight up close, personal, and not pull tactics like that. That is what it's all about here on Orland, the IWA World Championship. Yeah, and of course, we shall see who prevails here. We got Waluigi. I don't know what he's doing there, but it's probably some sophisticated Waluigi thing. Probably some mind games there. And of course, we've got our champion, the Lionheart, wearing greed colors here tonight. Trying to represent the brand and elevate the title in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. Giving people you wouldn't normally see get world title shots, world title shots. Yeah, waving to the crowd, nice, friendly, likes the people. But of course, when the bell rings, it's, it's he's become sort of kind of less about entertaining the people and more about cementing his reign as a champion. He's leaving all the entertaining to once the match is over. Well, we're going to be entertained during the match. It's Waluigi put on an electric match with Spider-Man and Ben put on not only good tri but triple threat with the Joker and Rey Mysterio, but a good match with Wario as well. Yeah, of course, our champion prefers to entertain with his style rather than change his style to entertain. And Waluigi driving a knee into the back of the champion. Yeah, a modified surfboard there, getting fought off. And now, look at that, an octopus stretch. This early into the match? Yeah, the submission, feeling each other out, maybe trying to figure out if there are any body parts that could be worn down. Waluigi with an Irish whip, counter, kick to the gut. Waluigi though finding a, oh yeah, my goodness. Going for an arming there. Roll through, another one to counter the wrist lock there. Crafty way to escape from Waluigi. You can't take away his craftiness. Yeah, both men almost with a standoff there. Snapmare. You can feel the competitive nature of these guys. Yeah, of course, starting off slow with the feeling out process. Ooh, Waluigi trying to bitch slap the champion, but Ben, he's going to chop away. Yeah, and of course, we've seen recently chops being added to the offenses. Look at that, a basement drop kick down low. That could be hindering Waluigi's frog splash later. You know, Waluigi loves his elegant frog splash, as I always say. It is indeed elegant, but Waluigi is still here with some fight, an elbow to the gut. Waluigi taking a second. Champion's telling him to get back in the ring. I don't think Waluigi really wants to get that work, Franklin. Yeah, and of course, a champion being held back by the referee. He wants Adam. Champion going up to meet Waluigi at the apron, and Waluigi thinking better of it, but jaw jacking with the crowd, not a wise idea. Ben trying to find the right distance. 
to even get a splash on him. He sees how dives can backfire. Maybe he thought better of it, but that slap, that, that has got a sting. Maybe he just woke up the champion. Maybe, maybe he hit a, uh, a second wind. Of course, it's not late in the match, but we've seen before how the champion can raise the brutality later in the match. We could be seeing it early on here. Ben absolutely coming out of the gate very, very strong. Very becoming of a world champion. And it's got to keep digging, though. No matter how hard he works, you, you will always have people saying, oh, he's just Nate Express's brother. You know, punch. Can Nate Express do that? I mean, look at that. Look at that senton afterwards, too. Of course, Nate Express known for taking risks, but not necessarily in this style. Nate, a lot of flash. Mm. And, and while we've got some high risk from our champion, not as much flash. And he's been staying on Waluigi the whole match. Waluigi needs to find a sneaky way to get his offense in. He needs to find a way to counter Ben. Again, of course, Ben looking to prove that that, he, that he's not just a man in his brother's shadow. That he can do this. What the hell? And, I mean, this is my opinion. But, I, I mean, I already think he stepped out, of course, being a world champion. His brother named Express not being an IWA world champion. Oh, my champion. goodness. Get, look a look at, get a look at that. Talk about Ben Conlon and Nate Express. This is a throwback to their heat wave encounter. And Waluigi able to get a shot in on him. Boom! That is a nasty STO. Paul Luigi looking for a submission of his own. Oh I fight Hammerlock there. Oh no, he's pulling on the fingers. I can't, I can't, I couldn't watch. Kick to the gut, kick to the face and a clothesline. What does Waluigi have to do to get one over on Ben here? I don't know. We see our champion modify and change his offense the further along in his reign that he's gone. But, I mean, speaking of offense there, the STO for the second time. Our champion's still getting up and recovering. Roll through. Oh, my goodness. The Boston Crab. We've seen this against Batman. But, of course, Waluigi, a little, a little too close to the ropes. They're able to grab it, force the break. Our champion breaking before one. It's the, it's the smartest thing he could do at that moment in time. Yeah, our champion breaking before one. Showcasing the honor. That suplex might have gone Waluigi what he needs. No, Ben, dragon screw. Yeah, and that leg has been the focus of Ben in this match. Absolutely bringing the hammer down on our challenger. And another sent on Waluigi's back is taking it tonight. Yeah, and our champion is fired up. The legs and the back. Speaking of back, missing the back elbow. Mistake. Indeed, a hefty mistake. Waluigi now, the reverse splash, slash a, a hip attack there in the corner. Waluigi up to the top rope. Champion meeting him there. Waluigi with a fist to the face. Waluigi able to counter. Beautiful top rope neck breaker. That indeed was a beautiful neck breaker. I mean, look at that soccer ball kick. Grabbing the hand. Oof. We've seen him manipulate the fingers earlier. Now he's stomping on him. Waluigi cannot scam. He cannot sneak out of this one. And you know, Franklin, how much I hate scammers. It's why Logan Paul doesn't have a job here. And Waluigi chopping away. Head to the turnbuckle there. Turnbuckles ain't soft. It's the, uh, that elbow. Waluigi ain't soft either, grinding it against the face. He's got Ben cornered right where he wants him. This is exactly what Waluigi said was going to happen. He sees he's going to beat Ben down into a pulp. Oh. And of course, I think it's too early. These two got really heated in their last confrontation on the mic. And we're starting to see all that heat come out. Oh my goodness, he's boogieing Franklin. Look at that. He's boogieing on him with a leg drop. This could be it. As goofy as it was, a leg to the throat can deal some damage. Ben not about to lose to that though. He refuses. Yeah, now our champion rolling to the outside looking to recover here. Waluigi following him out. 
Double axe handle. He misses. No. Kick. He was just short. Maybe underestimated his My distance. God. Look at that. He's just tearing away. Clawing at his face like a Wolverine. Oh, no. No, come on, please. Our arena crew's had enough. Our crew's had enough. Oh my! Face into the wood. Fireman's carry. Up and oh. oh! Wasteland. Something we see from Wario, Waluigi's brother. He is not going to be feeling good about that. Ben's not playing around. I think he's through playing around. Yeah. I mean, I think in the beginning of filling out process, maybe playing a little bit, trying to gauge Waluigi's technical game. Now that's all out the window. What the hell? Waluigi's got to be dead after that one. Double knee face one. breaker off the top. Waluigi kicks out with Ben a little surprised. Double knee face breakers are not easy to kick out of. Those are very impactful moves. And Ben looking to lock something in. It's got to get called yeah, off. Yeah, a cattle mutilation. But transitioning though, we could be seeing a bow and arrow stretch. Well, we get absolutely stretched out here. Yeah, we've seen our champion add more technical games. To his moose head as well, Luigi there over the cover. Kick out of one, tried to boogie on it, not successful. Well, Luigi really tried to catch him with a quick one there. As much as well, Luigi's been able to smoothly get out of these submissions in these holds. One frog splash is all he needs to get. Maybe we got a cover here after a splash. Waluigi still kicks out. And this guy's showing some real guts. These are the guts we saw during his Spider-Man match. When he took Spider-Man to the limit. He could be going for the two pride kick. No. Ho -ho. Not going to do it. Waluigi with the beautiful counter to the DDT. Vicious DDT spiking him on the head. One, two, no. Waluigi could, Waluigi could have sworn that was three, as he would say. Yeah, but he needs to stay on the champion. This could be his opportunity here to give him an upset. Missing the chop. Champion with a kick to the gut. Irish whip into the same corner. Waluigi counters with the same. This time, grabbing him by the back of the head. Slam head first into the turnbuckle. Kick, jab, second jab, third. Now just stomping away. Waluigi lighting him up. Oh, disrespectful. Big, big mistake. You do not slap Ben Connell and get away with it. Yeah, I have a feeling he will definitely be paying for that later. Another hip attack. Waluigi looking to take to the top. No, maybe the springboard. Our champion going to the corner. Waluigi gloating, but... I mean, if you think about it, our champion just prevented a springboard maneuver. That could help him here. Whoa. Oh, we're going high risk. Drake up the top with a neck break. Oh my good, that was brutal. One, two, not gonna do it. Ben kicks out and Waluigi slamming into the mat. And look at these cheering fans. They are getting a clinic right now. Yeah, grabbing him by the nose. Another slap to the face. Punching away now. Look at that, slamming his face into the mat. The frustrations of Waluigi coming out. Yeah, but he's gotta be careful not to get too frustrated. Our champion could counter and take advantage of it. I was whipped into another corner and a bulldog. Waluigi's just gonna keep wailing and wailing into Ben. Uno, dos, no tres. Ben kicks out. Yeah, and we spoke about, about the frustration. It's definitely visible on Waluigi. If our champion has a slight opening due to that frustration, it could cost Waluigi here. Waluigi, what's he looking for? Oh, when looking for some kind of kick. Ben with the grab. Clothesline. Oh. Stepping he, over. He's going to keep him up. Two. Count it with me, LA. Oh, three. three. He's all fired up. This Frank. is that window. This is that recovery. The Dr. Teeth. Vintage Ben. He's pulled that out in the past. 
Waluigi kicks out. That is not going to do it. And Ben's got to be wondering here, what does he have left to do to Waluigi? It could be the soup pride kick, or it could be something that he's been hinting at. He's been talking about something called the World Championship Dream. The World Championship Dream. What is the backstory behind that? He said it demonstrates the struggle of being a world champion and making it up there. Well, of course, it's a struggle to be a world champion. You're the top dog. You got everyone coming for you. Look at the distance he went with that elbow. Yeah, that diving elbow drop right into the chest. Waluigi still manages the power out. Yeah, but he was saying that the opponent in this move would feel what it's like to have to struggle as a world championship, as a world champion to keep that dream alive. Mm -hmm. And Waluigi, oh, there's the dirty tactics. The bell clap right there. School boy roll. We can have a roll up. Could Ben Connell's world championship dream be done? Can't steal it. Oh my god, Boogie and I. Oh no, Ben. Ben countered that. Waluigi with the counter. Punch. Another punch. Oh, he's boogieing on the Franklin. Oh yeah. And now the champion going over to the ropes. Waluigi taking a moment to soak it in from the crowd. No, no, not the rope punk neck breaker, please. I've seen this too much. No. Yeah, the rope punk neck breaker there and a slap to the face. Does he never learn his lesson? Yeah, once the champion can get back from reeling, he might come back with even more fire. I'm telling you, Waluigi should definitely stop slapping him because the more slaps that Ben Connell eats, the more brutal he gets. Boom. Boom. Yeah, you really regretting it now, huh, Waluigi? Really regretting the slaps now, huh? Rebound off the ropes. Look at that. Sliding forearm smash. Ben, he's going up top. Looking to fly. Up and down with the splash. Cover here. Can he do it? Is he gonna retain? Waluigi still in this fight. Yeah, now our champion pulling him back up. What, th what does he have left to do? I mean, he hasn't hit the Supride kick yet. And he hasn't unleashed what he's called the World Championship Dream yet either. Those two could be the aces in the hole. Oh, Waluigi with the knee strike on the referee. Men's asking him, what the hell is he doing? Spoke about the key elements in the match. This could be Waluigi's opening. This could be Waluigi's key. The referee is down. Super head kick. He hit him with a super head kick. But he's too tired to make the cover. Tired, dazed. And on top of that, we got a cover here. One, two, three, four, Five. Wait, 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 hold on. The ref's down. And I think, oh my goodness, wait, that's it's a mess. Mass fan. Fan. He's not coming from the barricade. He's coming off the stage. <laughs> Wario, Wario this time is prepared. Did you see how high he threw him? Oh my goodness, Wario, this is a two on one beat down. There's no official to stop this. Package pile driver. That's what he wished he could do when he challenged them for the title, and Wario. He needs to get Ben in that distance, and that's what he's going to do. We're about to see the elegant frog splash in an unelegant manner. Frog splash. It connects him, Wario. Wario's going to get the ref up. It's over. The world championship dream for Ben Connell is over as these two, the Wario brothers, are stealing it. The referee, though, has to take some time to get recovered. This could be the champion's chance to bounce back. Do we have it? Barely. Barely. And you can see the frustration of Waluigi for a second. I thought the Wario brothers had it. Fighting back with a kick. Still dazed, though. Dr. T the second time. Where in the hell is he getting this? Oh, my goodness, Ben. Taking out Wario in the process. Excellent form on the suicide dive. Getting back in the ring. Waluigi, super ride kick. He hit the super ride kick. The world championship dream. The world championship dream is in. Waluigi. Is Waluigi's world championship dream over. Is Ben Connell's Waluigi. World championship dream Waluigi over. swiping at the ref. Swiping at the ref trying to get out, but it's over. 
Waluigi's World Championship dream fades and our champion's dream continues. Waluigi literally pulling out all the stops, knocking down the ref, trying to slap the ref into submission. Wario even running down. All that effort to dethrone our champion and still the Lionheart prevails with the World Championship dream. After this performance, I can safely say both Ben and Waluigi have made names for themselves. When I think agree, this is going to be in my top three of the matches I think about. And Ben, you gotta wonder who the hell could possibly be next in line for him. Yeah, what are we gonna have to do to, to figure out the next challenger? Are we gonna do another gauntlet? Are we gonna have a battle royal? Are we gonna have a tournament? We don't know. We'll definitely be figuring it out though. We'll move on to the garden. Ben getting to defend in the largest arena in the world. Madison Square Garden. You got that riding. Hold on. Wait a damn second. I recognize that music, Franklin. You might have not been here for it. You might have not been here for Heat Wave all the way back in the day. Come on, come on. Rise, rise, rise. Here's your first introduction, Franklin, to Rick C. The last time he showed up, he banished Mr. Derek Jones and the rave from IWA. And Rick's been making a big, big name for himself. Yeah, and of course, I don't know Rick personally. I've I've heard of some of his exploits, but I've heard something big, and that's it. Of course, he's the owner of RCCW. Mm -hmm. and, oh man, you already know. Rick C is a powerhouse. He is a dominator. And Ben Connell's run is in jeopardy. The alpha male of the Colonica Nations. And th of course, that's the most Rick C thing ever, giving himself pyro, even when we didn't order it. No, I mean, at least he paid for it. And then look at this, Franklin. This is our site for the future. We've got to go. I'm Aaron Huck. I'm Ben Franklin. 